Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe for more vape videos. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss any uploads. I am uploading more consistently now. Finally, I know it's been a minute guys. You can check the description box below for links to where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You might wanna check those social medias out because I do all of my vape giveaways over there because you're not allowed to do them technically here on YouTube. So if you want to get in on any extra vape stuff that I'm giving away, those would be the place to do it. I also directly chat with you guys over on Twitter pretty much every day. And I post to Instagram story all day long. It's my favorite. It's the new Snapchat. It's better than Snapchat. Snapchat is canceled. Um, so that's more of like my personal life, like my cat, my son, anything I'm, you know, just like what I would do if I had a Snapchat, if I still used, I have a Snapchat, I just don't use it. So if you wanna check that out, all those links will be below. I also have a vape Patreon account where I do vape monthly rewards, like they're all vape related. So if that's something that might interest you, check the description box. I do have a second YouTube channel where I do non vape related things. So if you wanna see what else I do or my vlogs or my other hobbies, you can check that out as well. But let's just jump right into it today. I have the basics series by glass. So I have, well, not all of it. I have a few flavors. I got sent four of them and we're gonna go through the flavors and I'll pick some out to try for you guys. So the first one that caught my eye was this butterscotch reserve, just cause I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, but then upon looking at the bottle, which it's super interesting, these are available in 0, 03 and six milligrams nicotine. They are 60 mil bottles in these boxes and they're 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol. But you can see that all on the box. Isn't that so cool? So you got the size of the bottle, the milligram, the um, PGVG ratio. Oh my God, I just realized that these are, oh, that these are three milligrams. Boo. It has like the little little pictures of the flavor profile, which I was so excited. And then I was like, what is that? And then I was like, oh my God, tobacco. So I don't know if I'm gonna try this one because I hate tobacco flavors, but also love butterscotch. And on here it says, rich yet reserved, powerful yet gentle, superbly crafted for a captivating vaping experience that excites the senses and warms the soul. Basics by glass. Creamy RY4 Butterscotch Reserve, bold and sweet. It also tells you like on the box, vapor production, four out of five stars, flavor strength, four out of five stars, throat hit, one star. So I mean like, I don't wanna throat hit. That's a big reason why I don't vape with nicotine anymore and also why I don't choose tobacco because that's pretty tough. Um, it does say flavor notes on the box here too. Butterscotch, RY4 tobacco, and caramel. On the box side, it has little pictures again. I just, I love everything about the packaging. And you know what, I'm looking on here, and I'm also seeing, oh, the, okay, those are caramel squares. I was like, are those ice cubes, is this menthol? But anyways, you open the box, and this is the same for all the flavors, and you have the bottle, and the bottle basically has all of that information on it too, and it's a unicorn bottle. So I'll go ahead and smell this, because I was sent four. I really want to try three. There's one, there's a menthol one there that I don't, I don't want to try, but I also don't like to, oh wait. Mmm, that smells really good, but it's also three milligrams, which means it's tobacco, it's three milligrams, your girl vapes zero because I don't need nicotine anymore and I am still breastfeeding, not I mean, pumping, but that's still breastfeeding because my son is getting the milk. So I just don't want nicotine, you know? I just don't need it. But I'm gonna have to, it's like, do I do tobacco? Do I do menthol? Which one? I don't know. Let's go through the other flavors real quick. We have fizzy lemonade. So this is the menthol one. And I was like, ooh, fizzy lemonade, I love lemonade. This is thirst quenching. Bitches thirsty, you know. Um, lemonade, lime soda, pineapple, and ice. So, you know, I might try this one. Maybe the ice will give it that um, drink feel, you know? Maybe it won't be menthol, mentholatum, yuck, that I don't want uh, because it is three milligrams, this one is two, and I just, I don't think tobacco in three milligrams is gonna work, but it smells really good, that butterscotch reserve, I don't know, fizzy lemonade. Then we've got strawberry gummy, which is stra sweet strawberry, sour gummy, mixed berries, and blueberry cake, which is vanilla, blueberries. Looks like there's like a little pitcher of milk and a slice of cake. So we are gonna try these two for sure, but it's just a toss up between tobacco yumminess or menthol yumminess. <laughs> because it's like the two flavors I don't like. I'll go ahead and smell this one and see what 
what it, how mentholy it smells. Well, this one doesn't want to open, so that might make my decision. Anyway, I'm seriously trying as hard as I can. Oh, wow. So, okay, so I think my decision's made for me. Look at my hand. It's all red because I'm, I'm really trying. Gosh, I hope I can get the other. The other flavors open. Well, that basically made my decision for me. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want it to. I, I was gonna just pick this one anyway. I decided now that I can't open it. Can you guys hear that? Someone is shooting off some sort of gun. So we're gonna start with the strawberry gummy mouth watering. Ooh. And I'm probably not gonna take too many vapes of each flavor just because there is nicotine and last time I, la I did nicotine last week too and I was very buzzed by the end of that video. Smells really good mm, but I love strawberry so it's like strawberry gummy. Mm. <coughs> mm. What is the throat hit for that one? This one says two. Wow, so the strawberry gummy has a two star out of five for throat hit and the tobacco has one star. So maybe the tobacco is gonna be less harsh, but that was definitely a throat hit. It wasn't, I didn't taste like the ugh, part of the nicotine that I don't like when I get that throat hit. So that's good, but you definitely get that. You know that there's nicotine in there, at least for someone who doesn't use nicotine. The flavor is good. It is definitely a strawberry gummy flavor strawberry candy and I would probably be all over it if it was a zero milligram. I'm gonna take one more vape of it but that was um pretty throat hit for me so sorry I'm a wimp now guys. I was a little more prepared for that still definitely a throat hit there and it has a very sweet after like on the exhale i feel is when the flavor is really coming through it's like it's like strawberry sweetness on the inhale and then you get that gummy strawberry sugary candy but not too sugary like based on like my preference of sugar like i can handle some sugary stuff i love it this is like a, a midline one that is not too bland but not too um like gonna hurt your teeth sugary um but yeah nicotine it's so funny how when you don't vape nicotine and you even just use a little bit then you're like buzzing they must use some really good grade nicotine because i just took two vapes off of that and i'm already buzzing so you know we might only do these two because i i don't want to use too much nicotine i do get like a tummy ache if I vape too much nicotine, you know, like you like back when you first started smoking cigarettes. You can get si like if somebody who didn't use cigarettes use use cigarettes. If somebody who didn't smoke cigarettes like me, if I went and smoked like I think even one puff of a cigarette would probably make me very sick, maybe even puke. But like I remember doing that, like smoking way too many cigarettes back when I was first starting. I didn't smell this, and it would make me like sick if I did that. Mmm, sugar glazed is this one's description. It does smell like blueberry. And blueberry used to be a, va a vape that I didn't like, but my palate's changed over the years. So I can definitely get down on some blueberry cake. I dropped the lid for that one. Yeah, we're, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. We're probably only gonna try to. I, I didn't realize when picking out this, because I have like a crap ton of e-liquid that I got a really long time ago and I didn't realize this had three milligrams in it. I braved through three milligrams last week, but that nicotine in the last week's video that I did wasn't as like strong as this because they're both uh, three, level three, and this one is definitely like a higher grade, I swear. Again, a throat hit. What is this one's level? This one is a one, so it is definitely lower, but you get that throat hit, like you know. <laughs> you know you're vaping nicotine. And again, the flavor comes out a lot more as you're exhaling, and I'm getting the blueberry cake too on the um, aftertaste, like leftover in my mouth, and it's almost like got some frosting vibe to it. Definitely blueberry cake, kind of like reminds me of blueberry pancakes with like frosting on them. Again, another flavor I would probably just devour if it didn't have nicotine in it. Oh 
cansados, velho. Tipo... That one got me. Because I was trying to say clouds, bitch, and be cute, but not cute. Oof, not cute. Mm, you guys, I I love these flavors so far. And again, I'm just, maybe I'm just a snob, but I was like going into this expecting like, well, they think they're so cool. I bet they don't even like, because I wasn't too impressed with their original line that I was sent a long time ago. And this is like their new like basics series. But these ones are so much better than the original. Um, gosh, I wish they were zero because I would totally try this tobacco flavor. Should I just do it anyway? Should I do? No, I can't. I can't. Not with the nicotine and the throat hit that they give and the tobacco, but it's butterscotch, bold and sweet. Me. No, no. I, I have to compromise you know i could have just said no i'm not doing these e-liquids but i wanted to bring you guys you know the video i have these products i don't want them to go to waste so we compromise i will vape them to my limit and then when i reach my limit i just don't i just don't want to do it i don't want to go it'd be different if they were like gross flavors but zero milligrams i would vape it because i'm not gonna risk like getting a tummy ache from the nicotine but they have nicotine in them and they're delicious. <laughs> so it's like, I want to, but I'm not going to. Um, I would definitely recommend just from vaping those two, even though they have nicotine in them, delicious. There are a bunch of other flavors on their website too. Um, I saw like Caribbean punch and a sugar cookie. So definitely check those out at glassvapor.com. And let me know if you've tried them in the comments below their basic series. I'd love to hear from you guys because I like them. I like the two that I tried. I know that's so like, you only tried two, you know, and I got four sent to me, but nicotine. I mean, am I am I a broken record yet, guys? Nicotine, just don't wanna do it. So yeah, glass basics <laughs> is anything but basic. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. Y'all, I'm not doing the vape kiss <laughs> off my RDA with the nicotine.